based on they've been in the system. They know they know how things are going now because they were completely ravaged with injuries last year. True. So you would think that they would be better, but I look at the schedule. Like here's the thing. I was just about to say this is not an easy schedule. Georgia State, no, it's not an easy schedule. But on top of that, Georgia State has guys. Like you look across the field at them, and they have got talent. They got some big dudes. They're physical. Like they they look like what a Sean Elliott team would look like, right? Because you know him. He's yeah. he's kind of fiery. That's right. But man, this schedule. Like look at Tennessee. They you got, your, like you got te- your win. They look like a team that was built in the deep south. Yeah, you, you Georgia, got your, you your, your Furman win. Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi. They just they yeah. all kind of look alike. They all kind of look like that. Yeah, they all look but, alike. But you can have all of that and still not be very good. Well, true. And I think that they're not going to be very good this I don't year. Either. I've got them two and ten. Um, I've got them beating Furman, and I've got them beating South Alabama. But the rest of this schedule at Tennessee to open the uh, the season at Western Michigan. At Texas State, Arkansas State, at Coastal Carolina, Army, Troy, uh, bye week, and then at Louisiana Monroe, who was pretty good, App State, South Alabama, and at Georgia Southern. Like, it, where do where you find the wins? the wins? No, I don't. I I don't. I don't even know that they get that South Alabama win. I I think they could fall even farther. I got them one and eleven. I, you're right. All, these. These types of schools, they have talent. They have dudes. It's just, for some reason, it's really hard for these schools to put anything together over and over and over again. Yep. What uh, What do you have? I got them 111. 111. All right. So I, I've got I them 1 think, and 7 they, in conference. I think they lose that, that South, South Alabama, Alabama game. game. Yeah, you might be right. You might be right. All right. Let's move off of that. Let's make sure we get this uh, within our little 30 minute time oh, frame yeah, here. Right. Uh, Troy. The Troy Trojans, 10 and 3 last year, 7 and 1. Seven rest, uh, returning starters on offense, six on defense. Number 35 most experienced team in the country. That is only good for sixth in this conference. That is worse than half of the, the league. Uh, former head coach Neil Brown won 31 games in the last three seasons, and he is off to West to Virginia, rockier uh, pastures, I guess, uh, ma- the, the Mountaineers Listen, and whatnot. I think losing him is an absolute world changer. I like Chip Lindsey, new yeah. head coach. I, I think Neil Brown is up there in the conversation of, you know, best coaches in the country. Best coaches in the country. That yeah. top 10, 15 guys, I believe that he's going to be in that conversation now that he's with the big boys. I don't think that you can understate losing him at all. They went 10 and 3. Now, last I, I, year, will, right? I will say this. Yeah, 10 and 3, 7 and 1 in the conference. Uh, he did leave the cupboard stocked. No problem. For you're, Chip you're, you're right. You're absolutely um, right. Jeff Lindsay, former uh, Auburn offensive coordinator. That's right. Uh, former Kansas offensive coordinator because Les hired him, and then he took the, the Troy job. Uh, quarterback Caleb Barker started six games. He got hurt. Then quarterback Slugger Smith started the last six. Uh, they've got a ton of experience everywhere else. The defense returns 11 guys who started multiple games in 2018. Uh, the East title like should be on the line in the finale against App State. That's right. Anything less than that is 